question. What is your favorite part about Genshin Impact? For me, it would have to be its combat. Spamming different elemental reactions using different functions is not only satisfying, but also really intriguing as well. However, let's be honest here. Genshin is a really easy game. You can pretty much beat every single content in the game without much of a challenge. So what if we removed two-thirds of the game's functions and only use the elemental skill? Can we still beat Genshin Impact that way? The rules are simple. I can only use the elemental skill when interacting with any enemies or objects. No glitches, no co-op, and all characters and weapons are allowed. This idea has been living in my mind rent-free for the past 4 months since September of this year. So without further ado, I present to you the Genshin Impact Elemental Skill Only Challenge. Starting off Prologue Act 1, we activated the Statue of the Seven and finally unlocked the Elemental Skill using Edmund. So why did I name it Edmund, you may ask? Uh, it's because I thought it was funny. Hmm. Oh, I have a name. You know what? We're gonna call her... Edmund. Cause that's funny, right? Yo, that's funny. Edmund. True. That's a funny name. Okay. Right after this, though, we immediately encounter a problem. So, yeah, we are forced to use our burst to kill off these pyro slimes in the tutorial. Thanks, Mahoyo. The best solution that I've came up with is to waste our burst and then use our skill to kill these enemies. This technically doesn't count as breaking the rules, as we didn't use our burst to interact with any enemies. So, we'll add a separate counter to keep track of situations like this. After this though, we did actually have to break the rules by charge attacking with Amber. Yeah, there are no loopholes out of this. Thanks, Mahoyo. So, it is not possible to be Genshin Impact only using our elemental skill. But Edmund will continue on with the story since I don't want this video to be shorter than Venti's cock and balls and my will to live. Well, we're off to a shit start. And let's make our lives even shittier by normal attacking on Zavalin. Thanks, Mahoyo. After meeting Balls, we've unlocked the secret recipe to Mahoyo's way of exploiting money from little kids. Gambling! Okay, we're gonna put on beginner's wish. Let's just see. Fish show! Fish show! Fish show! Come on! No! Wait, now what the fuck are you- <sighs> Okay, okay. To explain these pulls in razor terms, Ningguang gives shield, but only two projectiles, Lame. Noel gives shield, but not 100% uptime. Lame. Next up, Edmund completed Amber and Kaya's domain, which isn't much of a challenge. What? Are you? <laughs> and we also did the Lisa skip flawlessly without any mistakes whatsoever. <laughs> isn't there a platform up there? I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is it. Why are you? If my mouse just did. Okay, if that doesn't work, then I don't know what will. How did that not work? Go straight. Go straight. Don't die on me, Kaya. Go straight. Woo! Easy, chat. First try. First try, chat. Don't even question it. If that wasn't a perfect run, then I don't know what is. And that concludes Act 1. On to Act 2, Edmund immediately encountered Jean talking to a diplomat of a well-known organization called... The Dildos. And yes, this somehow makes sense. But I probably shouldn't say that cause I might actually get cancelled by the Heavenly Principles. So since I'm the most PG family friendly channel ever, we'll have to go with the name Silly Willies instead of the Dildos. Anyways, she heard the Silly Willy organization gaslighting a woman into fighting the Ender Dragon. But since Jean only has iron armor and wants to gear up first, she declines. Man, what a goddamn pussy. I'm pretty sure Deluke would agree with me here. Weak and conservative. Women, am I right? <laughs> we then did some wishes. I'm praying that a Deluke would come 
at my house in my front door. Okay, Fischl, please come home. I would very much appreciate it. Fischl, 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 Fischl. Why are you here? <laughs> Bennett, despite what I was thinking at that time, is actually a pretty great unit. Bennett can apply Pyro with a short skill cooldown for Akaya to do Melt, which does quite a considerable amount of damage. Which... Poggers! These two melt together like bread and butter. Like your Xingqiu to your Hu Tao. Like your Ranmei to your Jing Liu. Like your Kageyama to your Hinata. This looks like blood, but it doesn't seem like a blood to me. It looks hard as shit. It's harder than my penis after Nona November. We then stalked Venti and fought the Eye of the Storm. Oh shit, I accidentally- No! And here comes the worst part of Genshin Impact. Stealth missions. Which I completed at first try. Wait, 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 wait. Did you guys hear that? Let's rewind a bit. Which I completed at first try. Wait, I, I, I did it. I beat it first try! I peaked! Yes! Yes, thank you, thank you all for coming, thank you for celebrating, yes, thank you. I know I'm the most skilled and pure-hearted streamer ever, but thank you, thank you. You in the back there, you're the absolute giga chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go support my OnlyFans! Woo! And that's the reason why I'm the most skilled, giga chat, alpha male, family-friendly channel ever. Then Edmund collected and purified the crystals, and then Venti proceeded to do the summoning ritual for Devalon. Turns out Devalin was hypnotized by none other than the man, the myth, the legend, my buddy old pal, John Cena himself. Okay, I should probably stop. And then he waddle away, waddle waddle, till the very next day, bum 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 bum. Isa! And with that, Act 2 is possible to beat using only our elemental skill. On to Act 3. We trekked our way up to Storm Terror's lair, then Ventiana's. Posse tells Edmund to put these Ender Eyes into these End Portal frames to open the End Portal so that we can fight the Ender Dragon. Edmund did that three times, three times, and opened the End Portal. We come shot at the Ender Dragon using our bow hacks. Come on, Daddy Devola, enter the hoops. Let's go. Oh my God, you're so sexy. Uh oh, where, 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 where's the hoop? Thank you. And then we three cycled the Ender Dragon. Wait, 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 wait. Three cycles? No, 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 I'm way better than whoever this shitter is. Watch this. <laughs> and everyone lived happily ever after. Well, maybe except Barbara. Cause after she saw her own NSFW subreddit, she had a panic attack and a cardiac arrest shortly after. Then after Barbara died, we meet La Senora, who is number 8 of the Silly Willies. After having a civil argument with Venti about politics, just like during my Thanksgiving, he then kicks him in the balls. Oh wait, shit, I forgot Venti has no balls. Silly me. <laughs> and that concludes Act 3 of Mondstadt. And what better way to celebrate things than with a temple? Come on. You know what, let's pull on Sino Banner. Sino Banner for good luck. Sino Banner for good luck. Kuki Kirara, Shang, not Shang Ling. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What? After that whole ordeal, Venti tells Edmund where her next destination would be, which is the Yue. But before we do that, now would be a great segue to talk about other things that I did to gain adventure rank EXP. Ransacked a bit of Monster and Li Yue, got trolled by Kaya. Before, probably. You know what? I'm gonna auto this. I need a piss. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Wait, no, no. I just come back from a piss, and now I'm being cornered? Tortured an Abyss Mage over sheets of paper with Lisa. <laughs> Why couldn't that be me? It should have been me! me. Not him. Chucked my penis off with Deluke. Ah, uh, you won't last more than three seconds. If there's a will. No! Oh. 
Why? I I scroll. I swear. I swear. I scroll. Oh my. Huh. I legit got comboed and strike when the pan is. Oh my. Unalive to Lupical with Razor. With Shang Chou, became Mr. Worldwide with Dane's Left. The only notable hard part during the AR grind is Amber Story Quest, cause they have these obstacles where you normally use a bow to blow up these TNTs. So I tried using Mika at first, but this jackass auto targets to the hill churl and does piss poor amounts of damage. You already dog shit of a character enough, why are you also useless in this challenge as well? On to chapter 1 act 1. After Morax died, which... L. Then Edmund decided to try sneaking out for some reason, and I just want to ask, why am I still getting arrested for staying within the premises? I'm within the premises! How do I get caught? Like legit, I'm obeying the order, and they still just decided to arrest me! Went down? I'm pretty sure I did that. There we go, I, I, I absolutely bamboozled out jinx, uh, W moment, uh, get outsmarted, out bamboozled, out maneuvered by Edmund. After they were completely bamboozled, out jinxed, out played, out smarted by the almighty Edmund's big brain plays, that was all useless because she got caught anyway. But fortunately, a certain man with orange hair came along and saved us, who goes by the name Tartaglia, and proclaims himself to be the number 11 of the Silly Willies. Chill there. Edmund then talked to Mooncarver, but unfortunately, some scallywags came and rudely interrupted our conversation. So we didn't hold back and dealt with them immediately. Also, how did these guys get accepted into the military? They only have one moveset and that's it. Even hands made of pool noodles duct taped to each other can join the military with this one. After we swiftly took care of them, I asked chat where we should go, and they said to go to Mount Hulao. We just about had the worst luck in fighting Li Ding's brother. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Okay, it's not there. <laughs> How come it's not there? For the lost soul. You're outside of the quest area, what do you mean? <laughs> Mahoyo, this dipshit is outside of the quest area. Why in the ever living fuck is he here? Then we meet Mountain Shaper. Huh, I think I actually met you back in Thailand when I was still a free man. Next was Ao Tang, which we did the skip cause I'm a lazy cunt. Lastly was Xiao, we did our favorite hobby by drop kicking a child out of Wang Shu Inn and cooked almond tofu for a number 2 short king, cause number 1 is obviously Sino, and no, I'm not biased. And with that, we beat Act 1 without any problems. And speaking of Sino, let's try to do some wishes on his banner, shall we? Oh! Wait! That's nice! We got a shielder! Hey! With Kirara obtained, our team is now finished. The... Wow! This team would've been so much better if we can use their burst. Here are some pros of this team comp. Against Hydro and Crow enemies, it was a breeze. I can easily defeat them because they're weak to my respective elements. Against Pyro enemies though... I would rather just watch paint dry than to fight a Pyro enemy with this team comp ever again. Shangling and Bennett can't deal damage for obvious reasons, and Kirara does shit damage because I put on full HP, so the only real damage dealer in this case is Balls, who is on a 6 second cooldown. This may sound like a first world problem, to which maybe, but still, doing this is even more boring than waiting for Ganyu's charged attack. I tried using characters that don't summon anything. Well, maybe with the exception of Shang Ling, cause I got her at C1, and she's just adorable. Goba, you of care? Because if we draw a Venn diagram of Mr. Feet's summon only challenge with my skill only challenge, y yeah, I think you get the point. But hey, that's fine. He stole my idea, and I stole his wife and kids, 
So, now we're even. Before we start Act 2, I just want to say something. Once I saw the name of the quest, I instantly experienced Stage 7 anxiety. You see, I have this thing called Hu Tao Trauma, and it's mainly because of chat. So just to give you some context, two months ago, I posted this video completely shitting on Hu Tao's playstyle, because I absolutely fucking hate it with a burning passion in my heart. But somehow, chat thought this was the My Hero Academia fandom, and decided to ship me with the bane of my existence. Look, I already have my wife and kids, and I'm not interested in having an affair with A-sized tits. So Chad, this is a special message directed towards you from yours truly, and I will say it in four languages just to prove my point. I do not like Hu Tao at all. Got it? Okay, let's continue. Now on to Act 2. Protagonist took Edmund to meet a man named Zhong Li. And just in case you don't know who this Mr. Zhong Li person is, here's a short 10 second self introduction of him. All in all, this quest was pretty boring. So. After that whole ordeal, we meet one of the secretaries of Ningguang, Gary, who tells Edmund that Ningguang has personally invited her to the Jade Chamber. And that's it! Wow, I can't believe we beat Act 2 without any problems whatsoever. Damn, that's crazy! Holy moly! And now we move on to Act 3 of Li Yue. We need to climb up a mountain in order to get to the quest point. However, my barbarian mind started to kick in, and thought, Me see mountain, me climb mountain. Look, I know that there may have been a staircase would have been much more convenient when upscaling this mountain, but we don't talk about the staircase in these types of situations. So, thank god that we have Kirara, cause her elemental skill allows her to climb up mountains with ease. There's just one teeny tiny little problem though. You see, if her elemental skill just so happens to expire at a certain slippery edge, this will happen. Twice. So to whoever designed this ledge at these coordinates, I sincerely wish that you expire from life instead. Permanently. Next, at Guizhong Ballista, we meet the cutest character in all of Li Yue. Keqing. Yep, I said it, and no, I'm not sorry. Look at this picture. Don't tell me that this isn't the most dumb fucking looking shit that you've ever seen. It's so adorable, in fact, that I legit made the banner of my clips channel into Keqing, which, go subscribe by the way. I still can't believe that after one year and nine months of playing, I still haven't gotten a Keqing. Like Mahoyo, can you please just give me a Keqing for once? Pretty please? Thank you. Anyways, we then sang to some flowers. Well, it's time to insert an overused joke that is literally present in every Genshin playthrough. Hold on, just need to find a suitable music really quick. Ah, this should be good. Oh shit, wrong one. Wait a minute. The flowers were definitely turned on by my impeccable singing. Cause after this, it summoned some warper flowers to try and kill me. We meet Gerald again, and I encountered one of my pet peeves during this playthrough. The voice lines and translations don't match up. <laughs> Gareth is literally saying Shangling, while the subtitles are saying Yanggu. What cocaine have you been smoking recently? Well, it's clearly a lot, cause you fucking forgot to tell us on how to get to the Jade Chamber, you absolute bot! After that short Gregory rant, we then headed to the Golden House and fight Tartaglia, which unsurprisingly isn't much of a challenge at all. It's like beating up a child, which we are doing right now. And then onto the more exciting battle, Osile, which was extremely satisfying to fight. Since it was raining, we can easily create seeds with Kirara's skill and make high-grade explosives with Virgin through Bennett and Shang Ling. We continue making ammonium nitrate bombing the whole Fatui industry in the process, and successfully hoarded them off. Say it with me, 
not even close. But that wasn't enough to defeat Old Sile, so Ning Wang made the noble decision of sacrificing the Jade Chamber and us in the process. Wait, what do you mean we're still alive? Oh yeah, I forgot, it's because this game is PG family friendly. We then discovered that Zhongli is Morax. Shocker. And that ends off Act 3. Alright, now time for Act 4. Anyways, we meet Garfield again, and she tells us to Shiraberu, a domain that she just randomly stumbled upon. So we went into the domain and discovered this thing. God damn, wh why does it look like a fucking sex toy? Anyways, after failing to think of anything that isn't degenerate, we encountered a Hydro Abyss Herald, which we easily clapped his juicy butt cheeks, since all of my characters can damage his shield. Just that some are more effective than the others. Nevertheless, we then meet Dainsleth again, and went to Wolverdom again, and fought another Hydro Abyss Herald again. Which was pretty fucking easy as always. Those Hillichos are just here for moral support anyways. Lastly, we re-entered the domain once again and fought another Hydro Abyss Herald. We beat his ass just like how I beat my meat when I see Ronmei cause god damn she's so gorgeous. Homegirl, you be fan looking. And lastly, we realized that Aether had been with the Abyss Order all along. It's like we never realized. Wow! But Step Bro refused to go back home just like an edgy teenager during his emo phase and leaves. And that concludes Act 4. Now on to Inazuma Act 1. HOLD IT! Alright, so skill only Inazuma and Sumeru will be in the next video. Look, I don't want my upload schedule to be as fucked as it already is. Plus, I don't want this video to be, oh, we start Act 2 and, oh my gosh, we're in Fontaine already? Oh, how did that happen? Oh my god, I didn't know But if you really want to watch the next part of Skill Only as soon as possible, well, boy, do I have a solution for you. You can show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. YouTube will tell me that, hey, you all enjoyed this particular video, and I can try and post more content like this. And while you're waiting for the next part of Skill Only, why not go check out the E Only series as well? where I only use characters with the letter E in their name. We currently have 18 videos up, so it should be enough until the next skill only arrives, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Alright, time for the statistics. Out of the 7 Archon quests that we've done, only 2 of them are required to use the elemental skill. We violated the rules around 5 times and technically misclicked around 12 times. I honestly don't know how much we've violated the rules or did some misclicks, Cause I need to put this video up in a hurry. So if anyone is actually bothered to watch 12 hours of content in my live stream, um, I'll pin your comment and I'll credit you in the next video. So our punishment, which will be decided by you guys in the comment section down below. So do comment on what punishment I should have according to these statistics. And I'll handpick some of the most entertaining ones in my next skill only video, which is Inazuma and Sumeru. Overall, this challenge is really, really fucking easy. I can pretty much beat it with both my eyes closed and my watery ball sacks filled with testosterone didn't even broke a sweat. So yeah, that's all from me. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications to never miss an upload. And while you're at it, go check out the E Only series as well. Till then, we'll see you later.